Hello everyone, I am Saurabh Chen from pi-analytics.org and I welcome you on course on Office Script Excel on Web. Without, without going into the details of the program, today is the test idea to write one program, how to write data on cells with the help of Excel on the web. Idea is we'll just write a simple program to give you overview how this Office Script works, Excel online works. So let's start. Let me open Excel on web. There are many ways to open it, but I'm writing Excel on web on Google and starting it. It may ask you to log in, not you can start a new data sheet. So we are here in Excel on web, the online Excel version. And you can see file, home, insert, draw, page layout, formula, data, review, view. And this is an automate tab. So as we have developer tab in VBA, we have automate tab in this Excel on web, Excel online. Fine. So when you click on script two, script one, you can see create, sort, so there are all scripts. When I click on all script, here a code editor opens. So I'll zoom into it now to see the course core editor where we'll write our program and we'll explain you everything. So look, this is our core editor. And when you click on new script, this will give you a function mean workbook colon excel script dot workbook. So it is telling you that this is the function mean and you have to write your code over here. So we'll explain this function later on, but idea is to start a code over here, fine. So let's start something. So we have to write code over here. Interesting thing is this workbook is a parameter already been defined. So now what we need to do is, we have to need to first of all define the sheet. Workbook is already the workbook in which we are writing our script. So like we use let command to create a parameter to for a reference to another object. So say L E D let. Now I can say selected sheet. S E L E C T E D S H W D. Selected sheet is equals to. Now we have to write workbook, which has already been mentioned over there. I say workbook as a parameter. Fine. Workbook. Now I say dot. Now I say get active worksheet. G E T get. I can see get active worksheet, fine. So this is my get active worksheet, bracket open, bracket close, semicolon, fine. So what we have done is we have refer selected sheet as an active worksheet. So now I can use selected sheet to refer another thing. Now let's write again, let say starting cell, S-T-A-R-T-I-N-G, starting cell is equals to now, because I have selected sheet, SEL, so this is my parameter available, selected sheet. Now I can say dot get range, GET, get range, and in bracket, I can write inverted comma, starting point is A1, bracket close, fine, semicolon. Don't worry, we have just written two lines that first of all, we have referred Excel worksheet and second, we have written A1. Now my idea is I want to write a program which says A1 equals to 1, A2 equals to 2, like we have to fill 10 numbers, 1 to 10. So we write a loop for next command. As we have in VB, let's start. For bracket open, again let, let a variable maybe i, let i is equals to 0, semi, semicolon, i is less than 10 semicolon i plus plus now the bracket has to be closed now i'll write curly brackets now this time i already have this range command right starting cell so i say starting cell i have this available dot now i have to offset every time so i say get Offset range and in bracket I say I comma zero, which means 
every time I have to offset 1 comma 0, 2 comma 0, 3 comma 0 as we do in VBL as well. Fine. Now I say dot set set value in bracket I can say write i and I can press semicolon. So this is a small code ready. So this we have written a program. I will walk through the program again but this is a run button. So let's run this. Oh, I got an error. So let's see what the error is. It happens sometimes. <laughs> so when you click on this arrow, you can see that starting cell dot get offset page set value is not a function. Okay. So Let me run this program. So I did a mistake of typing a value, set value. Fine, a spelling mistake was there. So now this was the error. So now when I run this program, it gives me 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now I ask you, this is a programming logic. I'm not referring to programming logic here, but yes, idea was to give you an overview of what we have done. So now, let me copy this program and write in the notepad for you all. There is a code. Fine. So let me walk through it. Function main workbook colon excel script dot workbook. Fine. So this was the main program. In the starting point, every time we have to write this in a couple of our tutorials. Let selected sheet is equal to workbook dot get active worksheet. Fine. So in this, we have created a parameter, selected sheet, and I've referred this workbook, active sheet. Active sheet of this workbook parameter, fine. Now I say starting cell is equal to selected sheet, this selected sheet, dot, get range of A1. Now I say, for let i is equal to 0, semicolon i is less than 10, i plus, it is like for i equals to 1 to 10. Now I say starting cell, dot, get offset range, i comma 0, dot, set value like this fine so this we have written and once we have done this thing and run this program we got a result so this is how excel office script works this was just an overview hope you are able to understand where to write the code first of all secondly set value is a method by which we will write the value in the cell get range is the uh, method by which we can refer to any cell in the Excel. Fine. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I have a question. In this, if I say i comma i, what will happen? If in this program, if I write i comma i, what will be the output of the Excel sheet? I would like to know. You can write in the comment. Fine. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This was just an overview how Office script in excel on web works in coming tutorials we'll start with very basics and i request you all if you have seen my vba tutorials please also visit vba tutorials that will give you a programming experience in five to seven tutorials only okay so coming back remember to join us on bi-analytics.org here you will find our office script club. You have to join this club. If you have any questions, you can directly ask in the topic section and tutorials will be coming in the tutorial section. Thank you once again for joining. Thanks a lot.